In this episode of iOS Decoded, we look at iOS 18.3 Developer Beta 3, where Apple addresses a serious concern with Apple intelligence. So the issue involves notification summaries. These are the little summaries that you see right here that basically summarize multiple notifications in one clear, concise, easily digestible quip for the lack of a better term. They're fairly innocuous and when they work, they work well, but it doesn't always work. And that's the problem, as you can see from this summary of notifications from the BBC News app. It's not technically a headline from that organization, but it appears to be and the information is wrong. So Apple has released iOS 18.3 developer beta 3 to address these issues. I won't say they released it to fix the issues because really at this early stage in AI development, there are inherent risks with using it. It's not going to always perform reliably. Sometimes it'll make mistakes and it's done that plenty of times for me personally. But this right here is a great example of the notification summary is working as expected. So you can see this is the summary summarizing all the notifications within this bundle to one easily digestible notification. So you can see for the most part, it does a pretty decent job, although you could potentially even debate that, but that's not the case that we're talking about here. But essentially this feature, the whole point of it is to summarize multiple notifications into one easily glanceable, digestible little, little sound bite, if you will. So the first change that you'll notice relates to a warning that Apple provides for Apple intelligence and Siri. Now, up until now, Apple has always labeled Apple intelligence as a beta, and that is something that has not changed. However, for the notification summaries and things of that nature, it may not have been as clear that that was a part of Apple intelligence and thus that was a beta feature as well. But now Apple has making it very clear. In fact, on the summarized notifications page, they say right there at the bottom, summaries may contain errors. And that's not the only time you'll see that verbiage. Indeed, that is something that you will see elsewhere, but not just that. When you enable the feature, it's now very apparent that this is a beta product. You can see the little updated glyph there, and we actually extracted that from the iOS 18.3 beta. So again, Apple just emphasizing that summarized notifications as a part of Apple intelligence is in beta, just like the other Apple intelligence features, just in case people didn't realize it. They also give you a warning message here on this page as well. You see that it says this beta will occasionally make mistakes that could misrepresent the meaning of the original notification. So that is very straightforward language there. Make no mistake about it. But Apple's taking it a step further. They've temporarily disabled a specific category, the news and entertainment category. You can see there it says temporarily unavailable. And again, Apple emphasizing that this is a beta feature down below underneath the, the various categories you see there, this is a beta feature summaries may contain errors. So Apple leaving nothing to chance here after that debacle, but you can see here in clear red text, temporarily unavailable for the news and entertainment category, summaries will automatically appear when available. So they just basically outright disable any sort of news notifications to be summarized because they don't want the same thing that happened with the BBC and with the New York times. Basically, if you have a news app, you're not going to get summarized notifications with those particular apps that includes news and entertainment apps. Of course, communication and social apps and other apps will still work with summarized notifications, but for now, news is no go. iOS 18.3 takes it another step by italicizing the text related to summarized notifications. So here you could see this notification summary, but you always had a little icon there indicating it was a notification summary, but if you didn't pay attention, it could be easy, I guess, to confuse a summary from an actual notification. Well, now there's no confusing because it's italicized. You can see the difference there. This text being a summary has italics. The actual original notifications do not. So that makes it easy to discern at a glance, whether you're looking at a summary or the actual notification. And Apple has given the ability to disable notification summaries directly from the summary on the lock screen or in notification centers. All you have to do is swipe left on the summary and then tap options. And now you have this new option, turn off summaries. So you can see that you just turn off in this case for X, just tap that it disables the summary. And now I just showing all of my notifications. Now the thing is you go back into options. There's no option to re-enable the summary. You actually have to go back into the settings 
the notification settings that is, but it's a little bit buggy right now because you'll notice that the summarize notifications option, it's still showing on, even though we just disabled it. So this appears just to be a bug. Here's Fernando, he sent me several different Slack messages. It summarized those messages for me. And if I left swipe on the summary at, and I tap options again, I can turn off, in this case, Slack summaries just like that. And the summaries are disabled. Now, if I go back in, no option for that. But if I go into view settings, you'll see again that summarize notifications is on. So what I have to do is just simply toggle summarize notification on and off, and that will re-enable the notification summaries for that particular app, just like that. So just a little bug, not a big deal. Hopefully Apple will enable the ability to toggle those back on from options as well. So obviously the summarize notification feature was the big change here in beta three, but there are some other little things lying beneath the surface. One thing that we found was a new AX feature override server component. And we think this may give users the ability to toggle accessibility features on and off temporarily. This could just be a developer tool or it may hint at an upcoming addition to iOS accessibility, which is world-class. So that has been a look at iOS 18.3 developer beta three. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.